Hello again, my YouTube fans. Well, so this was my second official game night. I play uh, the standard showdown on Saturday nights. Um, because, as I said before, I don't have cards for modern. And um, I'm a newbie. Well, this time they, um, they gave me two of the standard showdown I guess as a an extra prize for something that they were doing there and in addition um, I went ahead and bought three more packs so let's have a little fun let's uh, clear this mouse off get it out of the way without dropping it okay and uh, let's just get started right away. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's uh, cross my fingers. There's still a few cards I don't have. Quite a few, actually. One that I want. Um, one example would be uh, Fraying Sanity. I do not have a Fraying Sanity. Of all the packs I bought and everything else, I do not have a Fraying Sanity. And I uh, can't think of the other ones off the top of my head, but there's quite a few that I would like to have. And this time, I put the garbage can next to me. So... Uh, let me, uh, let me just open that on camera here. <clears throat> hey. All right, so what do we got here? <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out why everything looks kind of yellow. Do I not have the light bright enough? I don't like this yellow look. Hmm. I wonder if I should, uh, let me try... That's a little better. It's, well, it's glary though. Yeah. I think I'm just going to live with it. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. Um, maybe I, I. Maybe it's because the um, the microphone is on my left side this time. Maybe it's blocking off some of the light. Get a little extra light over here. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, that's a bit glary too, but I don't know. I'm just not gonna make this video that long, so I'm gonna get over it. Yeah, when I when I block that light, yeah, I can see the writing. Okay, so <clears throat> let's not uh, make this too long. Mm. <sighs> That's the last fix. That's I don't care. I don't care what it looks like from now on. All right. So let me uh, put on my reading glasses first of all, and okay. Too much time already. Let's just get on with this. So, descent upon the sinful. My first rare. This again. These are the showdown, so you get uh, like all rares and stuff. You put a four-four white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield. If there are four or more card types among cards to your graveyard, hmm. An excuse to build a four-color deck. Okay. Fal Falcon Wrath Gorger. Each vampire creature card you own that isn't on the battlefield has madness. The madness cost is equal to the mana cost. I don't know what madness is. This is a... Um, what is this? I can't read it. I don't know what that symbol is, but uh, it's not something I play. But that's okay. I'll figure it out later when I can actually see what I'm looking at. <clears throat> a nice full art island, and look at the foil. Let's put the full art islands up. Let's now let's put the islands underneath the microphone. I got imminent doom foil. Nice, and that's an, that's a hour of devastation. Those I do play. 
when a doom enters the battlefield with a doom counter on it. Whenever you cast a spell with this converted with converted mana cost equal to the number of doom counters on oh I can't read this, I'm sorry. I can't read it. I can't see well enough. But there it is. Eminent Doom Foil. <clears throat> Rare. And a foil common. Fog Walker. Again, it's it's a uh, this is uh, Elder Moon, Ethridge, how do you say that, Moon? Um, a very nice card, um, but uh, I don't play it. So there we go. Let's put the uh, rares here. Foil rares here. And the foil non-rares up here somewhere. Okay, let's do it that way. All right. <clears throat> yeah, um... I must have the lights turned differently this time tonight, or something's in the way of the light. I can't seem to see tonight. Okay, open says me. Come on. Garbage is over here. Ooh, Hazard the Fervent. It's a mythic. It's an Amonkhet. And that's one I did not have. Yes, I finally got something. Yes, I there's. I haven't been buying Amonkhet lately because uh, the store is out of them at the time. But uh, yeah, this is a mythic. And um, it is definitely Amonkhet. I recognize the symbol. I don't have to read the little fine print on the bottom. And um, Hazard can't attack a block unless you have one or fewer cards in your hand. Well, I am glad to have this. That's going to go into my uh, collection of mythics. And I have Zendikar Resurgent. And of course this is a cycling out. Both of the Gatewatch. That one I know. Um, that's a foil. Okay. These are rares. Okay, did I actually? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put all the rares. I'll, I'll sort them out later because I don't have enough room on this little table. A nice uh, full art forest. I'm not really doing a good job showing you this. A foil apocalypse demon. Hour of devastation. I could definitely play this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you that. Okay. Apocalypse Demon's power and toughness are equal, each equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. Okay, so it's a six cost. And it's a foil. No, it's not a foil. Is there a foil? No. Yes. Yes, it is. Jeez, that's hard to see. Let's take a look at it in the light here. Let me take a look at it on the, on the computer screen. I can see it's a foil on the computer screen. Yeah, it's a very uh, subtle foil, but it is a foil. Okay, we'll put that on top of the other left one. Ooh, 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 ooh. it's shiny and it's a full art. I got a full art foil land. Nice. Where do I keep them? Well, I am very happy that I got a foil for our land. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and um, put the usable ones here, the unusable ones here. Okay, so these are, from now on, I'm going to put these rares that are cycling out. I'm not going to be using over there. I'm going to be putting the mythics and rares that I will be using over here and the foil over next to it. Very, very happy to get a foil full art land. Now, I am going to turn up this light so I don't. Okay. That's better. Probably going to see glare if I'm trying to show you the card where it reads. So, you, you could this white section here, you can't even see that unless I do this. So, now you can see it. But I can't read it to you if I can't see it. So. Glare for you is, is good for me. 
Um, nice, uh, nice shiny full art island. Okay. All right. First pack. First regular pack. Here we go. Come on, money cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so commons are gonna go right over here. Crypt of the Eternals, my first uncommon. Ominous Sphinx. My, I may, I may have needed that one. I don't remember. My second uncommon. Claim to fame. I believe I have. For my third common. Hour of promise. Is that one of the in between priced ones? I do have some, but I, I do have at least one of these. But I'm glad to get another one. As my rare. Okay. So that goes, that's Arrow Devastation, that's Amon Ket, and a regular land, and a Sinuous Striker token. Okay. Well, we'll put the regular land on top of the full art lands for now, and the tokens can go where the other pack was. Seven. Oh, life goes on. I just played just play this card tonight. Eight. Nine, ten. I think I said ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Yep, yeah, so no foil on this one either. <clears throat> okay. First uncommon is Chandra's Defeat. Second uncommon is Saving Grace. Now, I don't have any of these card has flash enchant creates an enchantment an enchant creature you control when saving grace enters the battlefield all damage that would be dealt this turn to you and permanence you control is dealt to enchanted creature instead hmm that's a weird one it's only a two mana cost I might find a place for that <clears throat> And another Omnis Sphinx. Oh, I'll be darned. Look at that. I got two of them now. Have I been holding it so you can see it? Yeah. Imminent Doom non foil. Nice. As you can see, there's the Imminent Doom foil. Is the Imminent Doom non foil? We're gonna have to look it up. Um, I believe Imminent Doom is actually worth. Yeah, Imminent, Imminent Doom is actually worth a few dollars, maybe more than I think it is. It might be, might be give me a good buck. A forest and an insect. Okay. Last, <clears throat> last regular pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I got a foil in this one. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, if you count nine commons and end up the next one being the tenth one being an uncommon, that means you have a foil under there. So Hope Tender, which is one I don't think I have. My first uncommon. Ipnu Rivulet, 
I believe I have this one, but it's my second uncommon. That's a land. It's a desert. Torment of Scarabs. Enchant player. At the beginning of the enchanted player's upkeep, that player loses three life unless he or she sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. I have these in my black deck. Um, if I don't have four of them, I do now. <laughs> Another imminent doom. How many of these things am I going to get? And the foil is a non full out, other than a non full art island. Well, it's a foil anyway. And I got a regular mountain. Okay. Well, nothing spectacular. However, two imminent dooms, an hour of promise. And Hazard of the Fer Hazaret the Fervent, uh, which I did not have. It's a legendary creature, the mythic. Not bad, not bad. And the fact that I've got a foil imminent doom is something that I need to look into. An apocalypse demon. So I need to look at the prices of those. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Oh, um, is it? Nope. Let me just uh, pull my mouse out of here so I can get ready to stop this video. Uh, as a note to um, the people who know that I'm going to do that reading of that book thing, um, you know what I'm talking about. You know, I'm going to start reading this book. Um, or at least a couple of the stories out of this book. And I mentioned that in the last video I made. I'll be doing that tomorrow. As you can hear right now, my voice still sounds like a, a scratchy or something. I'm hoping that tomorrow I can clear it up. I'll drink about a gallon of water or something. I don't know. But um, besides that, it's late right now. And um, I can't really read loudly. I'm trying to talk soft. It's, uh, it's, it's 1130. So um, well, we're going to see what we can do. Um, let me see. What else did I want to say? Yeah, so we're going to try that tomorrow. Um, I told you I had permission. Also, there was something else, and I don't remember what it is now. Um, to my new subscriber, who I happen to know from the area, the young Nathan, um, I, I know that it's hard to find a way to contact me or talk to me other than the the club that we go to, the chess club, um, we have to exchange emails or something because I don't really want to talk, you know, a conversation within my videos. So if you if you see if you watch this video, um, it's uh, it's difficult to carry on a conversation with somebody within a video that I'm trying to uh, do for the public. Anyway, um, seeing as how I mentioned it though. I can say that uh, if uh, if you do want to play Magic, we can try perhaps leaving the chess club early and uh, going around the corner and, you know, throw a couple of games out, depending, you know, you're a kid, your mom wants you home, you know, I don't know, I don't know what time that we can stay there till. Anyway, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and... Uh, Stay safe. If you um, if you're in Florida and in the path, please stay safe. Tomorrow I'm going to read that story. If uh, if they if you have here in Florida and you're, you're in a shelter and you have to have uh, access, perhaps I can entertain you. So thank you again.